Staying with the Economic Forum in the Russian city, President Moon captured the attention of the participants with his announcement. So, how will greater trade and interaction with its neighbors help bring about a constructive change in North Korea? Here's Lee jong yun with a closer look. During the third Eastern Economic Forum this week in Vladivostok, South Korean President Moon Jae-in, in his keynote speech, proposed expanding economic cooperation between South Korea and Russia. More importantly, President Moon emphasized that Northeast Asian countries working together to successfully develop Russia's Far East region may be a way to fundamentally resolve the North Korea nuclear issue, as it may bring the regime into more economic participation with other countries. North Korea is a missing link for the full development of Russia's Far East region. If North Korea is open to a peaceful solution, its participation in the economic cooperation of the region will solidify mutual trust between countries in the region. This will create more diverse forms of business which will benefit all parties in the long run, including Russia, South Korea and North Korea. So far, more than 800 investment projects have been established in Russia's Far East region, which boasts abundant natural resources such as oil, gas, diamonds and forest reserves. Also, with its unique logistics conditions, it is a major international communication platform for business cooperation between Russia and other countries in the region. According to experts, North Korea's involvement in the development of the Russian Far East will be the final piece of the puzzle in unlocking the potential benefits of the region for all its neighboring countries. Lee Jong-yeon, Arirang News.